Well, I guess I ought to check how my uh, last video is doing. Let's see here. Holy crap! Stabby, listen very carefully. This is your brain speaking. I know we don't communicate very often, but it's very important you listen now. You have somehow made a popular video. You should capitalize on this now. If you do so, and do so correctly, you could finally become internet famous, just like you always wanted. So I want you to think long and hard about your next video and make sure- I'm gonna go play No Man's Sky! Hello Internet, this is the Stabby Brit, and this is No Man's Sky. You may be wondering why I'm playing this game? Well, to be honest, I had forgotten about this game, along with the vast majority of the gaming community. But it turns out that Hello Games still exists and has still been working on it. As you can see, we have some new toys to play with. And, you know, it's it's almost a game now. Actually, I don't think that's fair. I think, I think we can finally call No Man's Sky a game. Uh, I've not decided whether it's a good game yet. I do admit I've sunk quite a bit of time into trying out the new toys like these vehicles. This is the one I like. This is the uh, the nice balance of speed and agility. And you can drive it underwater, like so. Whee! Oh, yes. It doesn't handle very well underwater. It doesn't handle very well above water. It's absolutely fucking terrible underwater. But you can go mining with it, like so. I have a mining laser and there are these uh, new materials which you require a vehicle mining laser to acquire, which is nice. So there we are. And as you've seen, there's also a base here, and it's a base I built, because base building is a thing now. And of course, now that they have base building, they have a uh, sandbox creation mode, and vehicles that get stuck apparently. They have a sandbox creation mode, they have a slightly harder version of survival, and they have a permadeath version of survival. And best of all, as you just saw, they haven't patched the uh, the glitched jumping ability, which is a good thing. Uh, we have a little storage facility here as well, which is also useful. Uh, a lot of the new toys require new materials, which you can find scattered about the place. They've changed a bit of the level generation, uh, as well as uh, being able to buy uh, freighters, which I've not been able to do yet because I'm dirt poor. You can hire staff, like that chap. He's my uh, vehicular technician. And, uh, yes, here we are. I'll show you the building menus. Sorry, I'm forgetting my words already. And you can build lots of nice things, some of which are functional, some of which are purely decorative. So it's good. It's, uh, it feels... It's nowhere near what we've been promised. I don't think we'll ever get the game we were promised by Hello Games. But it feels more like it. Actually, you know what? I, I will just plant that down just to show you. Like that. There we are. That's how simple it is to build things. And these guys will give you missions, uh, like the, um, which tab is it in? It was in the first fucking tab, wasn't it? Sorry! There we go. You can, I've got missions where I've got to, like, collect materials, or craft things. Some of these materials are a bitch. Um, like, for example, I need some material that is only found on water planets, like this one, and it's only found underwater. Uh, vehicles are very useful for that, because you have infinite oxygen and infinite uh, thermal protection. So we'll go searching. Uh, the other material I need is only found on planets, uh, only found underground on planets orbiting a blue star. Yeah, that's how fucking specific some of these materials are to find. Uh, I don't know if I like that or not, if I'm honest. Um, one thing that did surprise me, though, is some of the materials are a lot harder to get than you'd think. Uh, the aforementioned blue star only material is required for glass. And you'd think in a game like this, glass would be pretty fucking simple to craft, but no. It's, uh, it's quite difficult. Uh, so, <laughs> that's going to be my next big mission. Uh, as assuming I ever actually regain control of this vehicle. Fucking hell. Yeah, be careful. If you're actually going to go for a drive underwater, the vehicles are absolute wank. <sighs> the game still has a lot of problems. There's, there's no denying that. And I don't think I'm ever going to forgive Hello Games for releasing No Man's Sky in the state they did. But I think what really inspired me to make this video uh, is... Oh, God. 
please just ignore me while I fail to get up, the, up this fucking cliff. Maybe I can go around. Yeah, the thing that inspired me to make this was actually uh, Call of Duty. Because as some of you may know, uh, Call of Duty, I don't give a fuck, was released uh, with a special edition. And if you bought the special edition, you got Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, which is the game we all actually wanted to buy. Uh, which I'm never going to own because they're never going to sell it separately, apparently. So fuck them. And of course, they stripped out a load of the content. Normally, when you remaster a game, like Modern Warfare, you would include the original game and all of the DLC, all the map packs, all the cool stuff. But no, they, they actually they included the multiplayer with less maps than the fucking original game had. And now it turns out, you can buy the original DLC pack, buy four of the DLC maps back for more than they cost the first time around. Because of course they cost fucking more. I mean, this is content that should have been bundled in the fucking special edition, and I'm completely going off topic, aren't I? The point is, that fucked me off. And around the same time, I heard about the uh, the updates to No Man's Sky. The I'd, I'd heard about the base building update, but I hadn't bothered looking at it. And then you have the Pathfinder update with the added vehicles. And I thought, you know what? This is this is sounding quite interesting, and it's it's free content. It's it's free patches. It's, it's doing things that I want games companies to do. So I was obliged to give Hello Games the benefit of the doubt and have a look. And you know what? I have actually had fun. I've had fun hopping around systems, recruiting new people, finding new resources, building these new vehicles, upgrading these vehicles, building bases, and constantly having to scrap them because I'm constantly moving to new planets. But building these new toys and getting new upgrades, for example, the awesome mining laser, which means I can mine previously invincible materials. Um, I've got an upgrade to my handheld laser, which means I can mine other materials like uh, titanium crystals. You can't mine those with a standard mining laser. Um, the space combat's changed now. Uh, you, they actually get the, the freighters. There we go, I remember the word. The freighters actually get attacked by pirates, which is really cool, and you can either uh, fight off the pirates for a reward, or you can take advantage of the fact that the freighters are busy and uh, pirate them yourself. I even found a, uh, a bounty. I, I, I left this planet on my way to sell some stuff, and it pops up saying, Oh, uh, there's a wanted pirate in the system. Go find him. I thought that was fucking brilliant. Love it. And obviously with the base building, we've got all kinds of, of new toys. Um, I know I'm flicking backwards and forwards looking for random shit, but you've probably seen this new items you can craft, and you tend to use these for making the new vehicles, and so on and so forth. It actually feels like there's a purpose to it. it it's... I mean, the original game was fucking shallow. There was virtually nothing to it. If you played the launch version of No Man's Sky for five minutes, you had seen all the game mechanics and all the content. Whereas, with this now, you you have, you have some progression. You, know, you will find materials you cannot acquire until later. There's there's plants which need special gauntlets to pick. As I mentioned, there's like titanium rocks which need an advanced laser to mine. There's the stuff that needs vehicles to mine. Um, you can gather these materials and use the basic materials to build a simple base. And then the simple base you can use to hire staff, which give you access to missions, which give you access to new crafting materials. And so there's the, it feels like there's purpose to it. I mean, that purpose might just be to build a bigger and bigger base that nobody but you will ever see. But then again, that's kind of what you do in Minecraft, isn't it? I mean, I have created dozens, if not hundreds, of, of Minecraft bases that no one but me will ever see or use. I don't care. I enjoyed it. And uh, I, I can see myself enjoying this game now. I have enjoyed this game now. I mean... It's still about as challenging as successfully cooking a can of soup, but, you know, not every game has to be about challenge. Still, um, I was kind of surprised at the amount of work you do have to go into for getting a, something as simple as a fucking glass corridor. So, uh, yeah. There we are. I mean, if, if you do actually own a copy of No Man's Sky, and, you know, like everybody else who played the game, you were somewhat disappointed with it. Maybe now it will appeal a little more. And as I mentioned, they do actually have a like a harder difficulty if you really want to play the game for the permadeath survival challenge. 
And uh, supposedly, you can actually find other people's bases, by the way. Uh, I don't believe for a moment that will ever fucking happen. But apparently it can. So there you go. You know, still still uh, a, a little too skeptic to actually believe anything Hello Games tells me, I'm afraid. They've made steps in the right direction, uh, but I'm not quite ready to forgive them yet. We'll see. So I just put this in the pan, right? Hmm. No, that's not right. Sorted. <laughs>